Welcome to another episode of Doug's X5, where you get to help me install the S4D. So what do you say? We get after it. Since the last video, I essentially got everything uh, painted or touched up to prevent corrosion. I explained to you in the last video, uh, next season we'll tear this down and have it officially powder coated. But we want to run it a season to uh, make sure we have all the modifications we want done. As you can see, the S4D is hanging here. Uh, it says shipping weight is approximately 200 pounds. Now, I would imagine that's all crated up. If anybody knows the actual weight of an S4D, post it in the comments below, because I can't find it anywhere. Um, I'll keep searching, though. So right now, follow along, and we're going to get this thing installed. I'm a one-man band, so enjoy the show. Okay, I put some blocks of wood in there. I'm gonna try something uh, since I'm doing this by myself. So you can see there's the clearance we have on the pivot tube. We gotta go down a little bit lower. Alright, let's see if we can get some bolts in. A storm rolled in, so you may hear some thunder and lightning outside. I shut the door. Doing washer on both sides and a lock nut. Good thing you're not seeing me pinball my head through these bars. All right, all the bolts are tight and we will get rid of the hoist and the straps and then we'll uh, let you take a look at it. All right, looks pretty good to me. Those two are in. There's the two aft ones on the uh, passenger side. And on the driver's side.
in the front side. All right, now that we got this installed, what we're gonna do next is put oil in it. We're gonna service it. It's brand new, so it's empty. So we're gonna pull the top plug. That's where we're gonna fill it. It makes it easy because everything's open on top. We're also going to remove this drain plug right here on the side. And essentially, you fill it until it comes out of the drain plug, and that means it's topped off. When we look at the S4D installation manual, in case you want to print this up, pause the video, type in Weddell S4D installation manual. This will pop up and you can print it. Right now what we're going to look at is oil capacities. So we are going to, we have a S4D and it says recommended approximately 6.75 quarts. So by the time it starts draining out of that side hole, it should be approximately 6.75 quarts. All right. Okay, you want to make sure that you take both plugs out. Don't just fill from the top and then open the side drain plug. Because then you don't have a vent and it's just going to back up in your funnel. Okay, the oil I'm dumping in here, or the, the transmission gear oil, is from Arizona Transaxle. I can't tell you what it is. This is just what he recommends and what he sells. And it is green in color. It's thick. It goes slow. Probably got a quart in so far which means we got five and three quarters to go. Should be coming out of the side drain any minute. I should say any second. And that's how much I have left in the container. You can see it's coming out the side. And we have one properly serviced S4D. Okay, next thing we're going to do is install this crossbar. And if I remember right, it kind of goes in easier one way than the other, but we'll see. I painted it, so it may be a little bit tougher. Just kind of tap it in place. Okay, we're not ready to install the CVs and axles yet. As you can see from the inside of the car, we are not ready to install the shifting cables yet for gears or forward or reverse. And we're not ready to hook up the vent. So as far as the S4D installation, we are about as far as we can go. That said, the next project we have is we got to get the engine mounted to it and before I can do that I've got to install the S4D clutch. Well that wraps up this video. Stay tuned for the next one where we're going to install the Weddell Center Force twin plate clutch flywheel assembly. And if you like these videos do us a favor give us a thumbs up, smash that like button, and maybe even subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.